Good everyone, welcome to this video. Today it's another suggestion by Rudolf Antler. And this one actually didn't take me very long to find. This is the Semavente B1 Biz. Now, personally, I see this as a premium, which we could potentially add to the Italian tree as a capture premium. Because from what I've been able to find out, this was a captured premium, or this was a captured vehicle done by the, um, the actual... Well, it was captured by the Germans and gifted to the Italians. Now, this vehicle appears to be a B1 Biz with the 47mm removed and the hull mounted 75mm gun is still retained. Now, obviously the early French 75mm gun is perfectly adequate. I believe it got above to 60mm in a recent patch. But I see this as a good thing for Italy and most importantly Germany in general because as we all know the B1 Biz at 2.0 is currently a bloody menace. The only real way to deal with a B1 Biz is with heat, APCR or do what I do and bomb the buggers but this could be a potential fighting back method so to speak. Let the French know exactly why we are so annoyed with them when it comes to the B1 Biz. Now, obviously, um, the whole point about the actual vehicle itself is because I just don't see why we should have this in the game. That's my only issue, because yes, it will perform well against the various allied tanks, but um, I just, I'm not all that keen on it. Don't get me wrong, I think the 75mm gun on this thing is perfectly adequate. But it's just the fact that this vehicle, it's got a lot of weaknesses. So obviously the hull has been completely unchanged. It's a B1 biz, it's got 60mm of armour in the front, 55 on the sides, 50 at the rear. Nothing's changed about that, it's just the 47 has been removed. Not certain why, but um, the Italians decided to make this a semivente, so to speak. Now if we scroll through, obviously we can see that this turretless B1 biz is currently going under, under trials, according to this, in Italy in 1941. But it's a bit strange how, and obviously we have got historical pictures right here, I found this on Google. But I just, I'm not too, really too sure about this thing, you know? I mean, I personally don't mind if it's added. I would love to see it added, actually, because it would actually give the B1 biz and the French tree a run for its money. But it's just, I fear for the attack or the allied tanks, because most, well, some of the allied tanks already struggle to deal with a B1 biz if for some reason it ends up on the enemy team. But, I just, hmm. The Stuarts, or well, the early Stuarts, got a nerf. Um, the British guns would be able to still deal with this. However, the most of the British tanks at low tier have no armour, except for the Valentine, which, that's really the counterbalance to this premium. But, um, this B1 Biz appears to be roughly about the same in terms of speed and things like that. And obviously crew capacity and all that. And obviously it's a B1 Biz that will take a lot of punishment to bring down. It's just, I find it a bit strange how the French, or well, sorry, the Italians did not change the gun out. They had better guns in terms of, well, they could have kept the turret of the B1 Biz and swapped that out for a 47 of the Italian spec. Which, as we all know in game, is perfectly adequate. Maybe the longer barreled 47, I think it's 35 caliber length. I can't remember quite exactly what the caliber length was. But um, the French gun in this thing was perfectly adequate for its time. It's just, hmm, I'm not 100% on this, but I would like to see it added. It's just, I don't know what BR it would be put at. Um, Rudolph suggested 
1.3. I can tell you straight away that is not going to work, pal. This thing would need to be 1.7. Now, why do I say that? Well, the gun itself can handle 90% of the threats that it would deal with, except for the British tanks, which the French already struggled with dealing with anyway, if they was to fight the British. The Italians struggle with the British, and this would at least give them some heavy armor support, because the British have the Valentine, the Matilda, and also, well, unless the Churchill gets, or well, the Churchill Mark 1 gets down tiered to 2.7, which I heavily doubt will happen. But I am more than happy to see this in game. Feel free to leave your comments on what you think this should be in terms of additions. I will, uh, and maybe suggest your own additions, sorry. And show me what you've got, like, show me what you can obviously do and things like that. But um, I'm more than happy to look over suggestions that you guys have. Feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, and I will leave it at that because, like I say, I am more than happy to see this in game. It's just, I'm questionable about it. It's just, I don't know how it's going to perform in terms of balance because the French 75mm on the hull of the B1Biz, I really sh struggled to aim with it. And with it being mounted so low in the hull, you would have to st stick your obvious driver's port out to actually shoot with it. But um, I am more than happy to see this in game. I am more than happy to see the old saying fight fire with fire in literal terms with B1s fighting B1s. It's just the French B1 would obviously have a major advantage with the um, obviously the 47 on top removed. That is pretty much the only difference for what I've been able to find. Other than that, it's exactly the same. And I believe the French also used these in terms of they didn't have time to produce the turrets for the B1, so they just sent these into combat with the 75mm guns. More than happy to see that in game. That could be a potential addition. But, like I say, if we have technical pictures of the B1 biz going, well, the turretless B1 biz undergoing service trials, I am more than happy for this. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this and. Maybe see if you you agree with me. Maybe it could be added as a 1.7 premium. And maybe we could see the, the French version of this thing. Because the French did use these from what I've been able to find. See what you think. Anyway, I will let you guys off. And I will catch you all on the next one.